Hey, good morning everyone, Trackman44 here. We have a skid steer quick attach and we're gonna make it a little more versatile today by making a, um, a bracket that's gonna slide over the, this set of skid loader forks to allow us to move trailers around just a little bit easier instead of, uh, you know, in tight places. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some two inch by six inch box tubing. This is a piece of scrap right here. We're gonna make a just short sections where it'll slide right over the forks we're going to put a cross piece of heavy angle iron. We're going to put a two and five sixteenths ball right in the middle of them. And that's going to allow us just to, to drive right up to the, a trailer, be it a gooseneck or be it a tag trailer, pick it up and just scoot it around, you know, in the tight places and everything, drop it, go ahead about our business, hook onto it with the truck and take off. So that's what we're going to do today. This is good heavy gauge uh, box tubing. So we're just going to pick an arbitrary length, you know, six, seven inches, anything like that will be adequate. We're going to use the old Kalamazoo uh, bandsaw to go ahead and drop that off of here gonna make it reasonably heavy because even though this little tractor here will just move around empty trailers we'll probably be using it on the skid loader also that has the capacity to move you know a, a full trailer or a much heavier load Now this isn't squared up or anything yet, but we went ahead and put an inch and a sixteenth hole in here in the center. We're going to go ahead and put a two and five sixteenths ball through there. We're going to go ahead and weld this all in with 7018. Now what we have to do is put a chain or a strap to hold this in position to make sure it doesn't slip off your forks when you're moving a trailer and you're good to go. Quick and simple, you can adapt it to any uh, set of forks, whether it's on a skid loader or one of these Kubota compact tractors.
if you're concerned about this slipping off while ever you got your trailer under load or you're actually you know on the forks or if you're gonna go downhill with it and you're afraid it's gonna slip off um, you can always tilt the forks just a little bit you know because the ball will kind of uh, fit in the receptacle you know and move just a little bit but go ahead and put your tag chain on it and put that in there and you can limit the amount that it'll move so there's no chance of it slipping off and Place these long enough to where if you've got a gooseneck on here, you can actually turn with your gooseneck and not come in contact with your with your shield back here. So uh, there you go. That's all there is to it. Quick and simple project. Um, and is ready for this or the skid loader, either one. So here they are, guys. Totally complete. Got a fresh coat of paint on them. And uh, you can see it just literally takes absolutely nothing. Very little material, just nothing but scraps and a little bit of time. Literally, it didn't take uh, 45 minutes to an hour, maybe, to, to fabricate this little guy. And it's going to be very, very handy. As a matter of fact, I've already used it last weekend when we were loading those big rounds. Um, I'll see if I can remember to somehow or another figure out how to put a tag up top or something, or maybe put it in the description if you want to go back and see, if you didn't see those videos, how this comes into play. You yourself know that whenever you're lifting all the way out on the tip of your forks, your bucket has much less capacity and curl because of that distance from the pivot points. So what you can do is slide these all the way up like we did last weekend on that 3301, slide it all the way up, and you're lifting from right at the bottom of where the bucket would normally be. So it gives you a lot better capacity. Um, in other words, it does not diminish the capacity by trying to lift out on the tips of the forks. But then you still have the, the situation available where you can just knock the chain off, slide these guys off, use the forks, and then go right back to using this here in the skin and tongs or whatever it is that you're using to load. So that having been said, like I said, this is all recycled material. Even the ball, I think I got the ball at the junkyard. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is, quick and simple. It can really make your tractor a lot more versatile if you really stop and think about how you can use it. And you know what? We have beat this one to death, and this is Tractor Man 44, and I'm out of here, guys.